I was out fishing with a good friend of mine from Princeton, BC, Colin Wyron. And he was out fishing me about five to one in one of the local lakes, so I asked him what he was using. And he yelled back, not for out. And I said, not for out. And he said, yeah, not for out. He said, say it very slowly. So I did, and it's not for Al. Well, Al is the conservation officer over in Princeton. So Al, here's your fly. It's called the not for Al. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie this fly. to fly off is in all our patterns is to take your black thread and tie on a good base layer. Start off by tying on the tail and I've taken about six to eight strands of my barred mallard and I'm going to make it about the length of the hook and just tie it in for the tail. Again, don't use too many barbs. Use about six to eight and keep the tail fairly thin and small. Take some of your fine silver wire and wrap it in and this will be used to rib the, rib the fly a little bit later. I've taken a full mallard feather and you can see how much I've trimmed off. I've trimmed off the majority of the feather itself. I'm going to take the rest of this feather, pull it all together and tie it in by the tips right at the rear of the hook. I'm going to tie it in and then wrap this forward to form the body. And again, keep it fairly thin. And we're going to go up about two thirds up the hook. And keep the body thin and wrap it nice and tight. Now that we have the body tied in, I'm going to take that silver wire we had off the back and take about five to six turns to form the ribbing on the body. Take another mallard feather and we're going to tie this in right, right about two thirds up the hook. This will be used for the wing case a little bit later. Now this next ingredient is really what makes the fly. It's, it's as I showed you on in the intro, it's the still water sparkle blend light olive dubbing. You won't want it too thick, but you just want to pull off a little bit and dub it onto your hook. And this sparkle blend just accentuates the fly. So I'm going to dub it on and wrap it in for the thorax. The final step to the fly is to take that material we had put in for the wing case, pull it over our thorax, a sparkle dub, and create the wing case. Snip off the excess material and whip finish to finish off the fly. So there's a great little pattern and as Colin told me it works excellent for mayfly nymphs and for damselfly nymphs. Another thing to remember, it's not for Al. <laughs>